Hello my lovelies, today I've got a very exciting list of 14 best ever designer perfumes for women. So if you really enjoy perfume and you want a new one or just want to hear what I've got to say to pick something for yourself, then this is this for you. I have gone through each of the major brands and have thought, oh, do I want to include a fragrance from this list or do I want to include a couple? What is the best? Some of them are bestsellers. Some of them are a bit more of less known perfumes, but I adore them nonetheless and I think they deserve more hype and I am obsessed with perfume. Okay, I've got over 600 perfumes in my collection, so I'm slightly obsessed. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for more perfume and vlogs and luxury content. And let's jump into the first perfume of this list. Firstly, I have to include Chanel because that's where my mind went straight away when I thought about this list. And Coco Mademoiselle, especially the Eau de Parfum Intense to me is the best Chanel perfume. It's the most likable. It's got excellent performance, longevity, and I get compliments for it all the time when I wear it. It's a crowd-pleasing scent that you can't go wrong with. To me, this is extremely classy, will be in my collection forever because this is more of a vanilla-based fragrance. It doesn't really go bad as fast as, for example, some really pretty light florals. So that's another plus for the scent. The bottle is just iconic. And although sometimes to like it used to smell a bit too mature for me when I was younger, but now I wear it and love it. And I even wore it when I was younger. So it's a scent that you can wear just all your life and just be feeling like you just smell like a proper lady. To me, this is a Chanel one to beat in the Chanel designer fragrance collection. Next, it's Dior. And to me, one of the fragrances that I love from them is Dior Addict Eau de Parfum. They have reformulated the scent, um, I think a couple of times, but this is one of the most recent ones, reformulations, and I still adore it, still love it. It's very intense. It also gives me that nostalgia. It's a modern classic of a scent. It's a white floral, which is spicy, creamy, and dark. This is mysterious, dark, perfect for winter because it really hugs you. It's a, such a strong scent. You only need a few sprays. It will literally just linger meters and meters away from you. Really adore this scent. This is the one uh, from this like long fragrance bottle collection that I adore. And another one that is the best for me. I know that you probably know Hypnotic, uh, not just poison by Dior, but to me, Dior poison, I love it as a scent, but I wouldn't necessarily now wear it. I think it used to be a scent that a lot of people wore, but I think this is more of this modern version of that same sort of narcotic, hypnotic, sexy, dark, vampy scent. This is a oriental vanilla with a bit of mint in it. I actually recently discovered, side story, but I absolutely love lip maximizers from Dior. They're like lip glosses, but they tingle a little bit and they just give your lips like a little bit of oomph. Anyways, this I got, I got a lip maximizer. I remember I was like still at school, probably like 16 and I just adored the scent. And then I discovered the scent. So I think they have got very similar vibes. I recently got two new max lip maximizers and I thought this smells like hypnotic poison. So I think they do put something very similar or this scent in the lip maximizer. So if you love this scent, get yourself a lip maximizer. It smells absolutely insane and gorgeous. Next amazing scent is from Mugler, of course. Uh, and it's this one, in my opinion, this is the best designer scent. It's the Alien Absolute. Sadly, it's discontinued, although it pops uh, on again, sometimes on different websites. I see it from time to time, so I'll see if I can find it this time again for you guys. But this scent is the one to beat from the line. I also love the Oud one. I think it's Oud Majesteur uh, Alien. That version is absolutely insane. 
but also the original Alien. I think it's such a great jasmine scent. This scent smells like a night out, a New Year's party to me. It's very fun, very loud, very modern for what they came up with the scent profile. And to me, that is a scent that I will always recognize instantly. Many people do different uh, vibes of it even niche perfumes try to do their own spin of alien but somehow like you just know what they're doing you just know alien there's only one alien and to me that is a scent that has got memories for me and I know that for a lot of people it's the same and I still adore it and I think it's one of the best designer scents still Another best designer scent is from Replica Maison Margiela. To me, it's By the Fireplace. They have got many, but to me, By the Fireplace is the scent to beat from their line. It's so memory focused. It truly smells like smoked chestnuts and just fireplace and it's so strong so nutty so smoky it almost smells not like a perfume it smells like a scent for a room but somehow it does work and i love wearing it when it's autumn when it's winter it's very warming very unique and strong so this one is one of my faves Next, the House of Hermes. To me, one of the best designer scents is Eau de Robab Ecarlate. This scent, although it's super simple and it doesn't last long, that's the sad part about it. Uh, this scent is just so incredibly refreshing. I haven't found a more refreshing scent in my life. It's tart, rhubarb, it's a bit green. It's so, so, so good. And I know that many people are obsessed with it. Recently, I was watching a French YouTuber and she was purchasing this scent. She does content around like bags, but for some reason, she was talking about this scent, how it was her signature scent and how good it was. And I totally agreed. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that so many people are wearing it and loving it. Or the web Ecolade perfect unique sophisticated summer scent next ysl and i couldn't do one because i think ysl is another one of those fragrance brands that just smash it one of the ones that i adore from the brand is ysl manifesto i loved the elixir as well but it's discontinued completely i believe uh, but this one as well it's just so so good it's bad girl vibes like going out again it's a bit smoky it smells a bit like cigarettes a bit like vanilla it's so rich and just smells like a night out what can i say a really good night out really fun time and it's incredibly sexy to me such a good all-rounder for more of this evening vampy vibe and another one of my favorites is YSL Libre Intense. This is my favorite from the line. Nothing beats it, not, not even the new Parfum. This is just incredible in the air. It's so, so good. The vanilla that they've added in here together with a lavender and just something incredibly pudding-like, almost like custard-like in the air. That's what uh, I smelled when I smelled it on other people. It was like this custardy lavender. It's so incredibly delicious and strong. Love this scent and I think it will be uh, here for ages to come. Like People will absolutely adore it for years to come and wear it as, as their signature scent. So, so good. Next is the House of Dolce & Gabbana, or how my husband likes to call them Dolce & Banana. <laughs> he always says that. This house, I was tempted to put a light blue on here, but it's not the scent that I love the most. I love Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme the most from the line. It's so good. Guys, it's underrated. It's so underrated. This scent is the best Dolce & Gabbana scent. Hands down, it's fruity, it's floral, it's marshmallowy, it's unique in a very crowd-pleasing way. This is signature worthy totally. It's absolutely just, oh, 
insanely insanely good i love this scent so much above light blue 100 and it's a bit more unique so i wish more people knew about it let me know if you know about the scent and if you love it next up narciso rodriguez because i think they create the most amazing just clean fragrances and for me the one that is the best is the white cute bottle i don't know the name of it because i'm really bad with names but you guys know i'll pop the bottle here the white bottle is incredibly clean it's a bit more of a grown-up beautiful womanly what powdery white floral scent but it's simply stunning it's really intense and this one is really fun for me um i remember just being obsessed with narcisa rodriguez like about four years ago and I would every single day would spray my arms like with all the different concentrations and different Narciso scents and I would compare them all the time and that's why I don't own it because I was struggling whether to go with the Narciso Rodriguez the white cube and the Poudre one and I never just decided I was like I love them both I can't decide so maybe I'll get both but they are just absolutely just clean unique musky and they change with the weather and with uh, your skin chemistry quite a lot because i remember every day would be slightly different that is why it's so hard to decide so maybe just if you want to try it out just apply a few different ones one day and see how you go but the white one is definitely like a staple and it's so so good next let's go to prada prada to me the best fragrance is in um i think it's called down fusion diris i don't know how to say it exactly but it's the iris version but the infusion of iris because i believe they've got three different iris scents this one to me is incredibly light unique so again signature worthy it's a beautiful scent it's a iris but it's light, it's very delicate, it's musky, it's airy, it's a bit woody as well. And it's a perfect everyday scent and also for the summertime. Something not, you know, fruity or not overtly citrusy, but just something clean and really, really good. That is the scent that to me smells very niche, but it's still designer it's incredible if you have never tried the scent try it it's something different from uh, other designer scents out there and it's one of my personal favorites next lancome i was tempted to also it's this list was really hard to put together but i was thinking maybe i should put la via belle but I wouldn't be true to myself because to me there's one underrated scent that doesn't get hyped that much and it's more of an old-fashioned Lancome scent that always gets pushed to the back but it's so good. It's Poem from Lancome. This scent, the bottle itself is even more vintagey. It's the one that was released not in the 2000s i think it was like in the 90s or maybe even 80s i don't know but this scent smells incredible it's like this ambery ylang ylang with some peach facets to it this scent is just luxurious it's womanly it's positive it smells like a really beautiful expensive holiday at like saint tropez or something it just has this royal smell to it Oh, it's so, so good. And it does remind me of Oud Orange or Oud Intense mixed together from Fragrance Du Bois. And they are very expensive fragrances. So if you want something of a similar vibe, Ylang Ylangi, then go for Poem. It's a very nice scent. Not, not many people wear it because they go for something like Via Belle uh, or something extremely sweet, whereas this is a bit more refined and a bit more interesting. Now for Guerlain, for Guerlain, my favorite, favorite scent is Mon Guerlain, Eau de Parfum. This scent to me, it's a new classic. I do like Shalimar, but not the original, the souffle version. But I 
wouldn't wear it necessarily now, but for Mongela, I can imagine myself wearing it now, wearing it when I was younger, wearing it when I'm older. This scent to me transcends time. It's a very classic lavender gourmand. It's so strong, it's so beautiful. Galan is one of those houses that really concentrate on fragrance that they are a true fragrance brand whereas others like YSL or Dior they're more fashion brands also with Galan you really get incredible quality from them and Mongolin is to me just a spectacular scent that is so intense so pretty perfect for every age and just timeless fun uh, but at the same time really just classy and um, approachable for every single person out there. Let me know what is your favorite, favorite designer perfume down below so everybody can check out some of your suggestions as well. Subscribe if you haven't already to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.